every new day inevitably brings in just another contribution to our knowledge about the world around us. In the past several decades alone, over 4,000 new Earth-like exoplanets have been discovered by mankind. But in order to reach those remote objects, it will take man inventing engines that would enable spaceships to travel at ultrasonic speeds. That is go beyond the limits defined by physical laws known today. Managing this task may well seem unlikely. However, many contemporary scientists are sure that it is a matter of time before these technologies emerge. Interstellar travel has always been one of mankind's cherished dreams. Over half a century has elapsed since the launch of the Earth's first artificial satellite. And since then, terrestrial spacecraft have covered truly record distances on escape trajectories from the Earth. The Voyagers were among the pioneer spacecraft to set out in space, with their top traveling speed reaching 62,140 km per hour. Juno is the second superfast space probe worth mentioning here, which approached Jupiter at 250,000 km per hour. As for the recently launched Parker Solar Probe, it is able to propel itself at up to 700,000 km per hour. As a rule, the speed of such spacecraft is generally attained with the use of gravity boost maneuvers, that is when a spacecraft enters into an object's orbit, which helps increase its speed. This trick works well within our system, but be it as it may, in order to travel as far as stars, scientists will have to think of other strategies, as there may not be enough celestial objects on the spaceship's way through interstellar space which would help to perform gravity boost maneuvers. It is quite possible that in the future, terrestrial spacecraft will be able to reach the ultimate speed for traveling around the universe. However, to date only light is able to travel that fast. Its speed is traditionally considered the limit and is a constant at 299,792,458 meters per second. Any particle with a mass will never reach this speed and any particle without a mass will always travel at this exact speed in the vacuum. The concept of an engine which would be able to exceed the speed of light has long been considered preposterous in scientific circles while considering flying to neighboring stellar systems was completely out of the question. But as time goes by and with sufficient global knowledge, the most audacious ideas may prove realistic. Thanks to being widely promoted by science fiction films, the warp drive became the first project of this scale. The history of its development goes back to 1994 when Mexican scientist Miguel Alcubierre assumed that the concept of ultrasonic travel could be considered as Einstein's equation solved in theory. The equation defines the relation between space, time and energy in our universe. In plain language, in his theory the Mexican scientist puts forward the idea of traveling in the manner when a spacecraft is cocooned in a bubble of space. The warp drive inside it makes the space in front of the bubble contract and the space behind the bubble to expand, with the spacecraft in between remaining motionless. Thus, the bubble is able to travel together with the spaceship at an unlimited speed which beats even the speed of light. This travel could be compared with moving on a surfboard, with the surfer remaining motionless and the board propelled forward by waves. At the end of last century, this idea could seem pseudo-scientific, but due to a loophole in physical laws, this may be manageable. It isn't the object that is moving, but the space around it, and space is capable of traveling at greater speeds than light. By and by, still more space-time properties were discovered by science, and many scientists were attracted by the concept of the warp drive, in 2007, thanks to the Gravity Probe B project, the ability of space to get warped in the vicinity of massive objects was proved once and for all. In 2015, thanks to the LIGO Observatory, the first gravity waves were detected in the form of space-time perturbations, which may be described as ripples in space. 
As recently as in August 2008, dozens of science groups were offered by the Ministry of Defense of the United States to look into prospects of exploring new aerospace technologies. A report on a warp drive was the most striking of the presented papers. Its authors argued that the creation of the warp drive would be closely linked to studying the dark matter, the force that makes the universe expand with an accelerating velocity. At the time, the report prompted a lot of debates among dark matter specialists. However, 10 years later, the idea of a warp jump was brought up again. In 2019, American engineer Joseph Agnew revealed the results of his work, where he was able to break down the theory of the warp jump propulsion force into simple, comprehensible bits. According to the scientist, the warp deformation can be unleashed by means of space-time contraction and expansion, which would be aimed in a specified direction at a specified time. Today, the emergence of such technologies seems unthinkable, but even now, scientists are aware of the fact that high-density energy is able to cause a necessary warp in time-space. In the future, science will most likely have to advance technologies generating such energy forms to the ultimate level, which means that only in decades will these experiments yield results. Apart from the futuristic warp drives, however, there is a great number of projects which are not less exciting and more down-to-earth, as it were. The Iron Thruster is one of them, with several organizations currently working on it. The general principle of its work lies in ionizing gas and accelerating it with electrostatic field. Since ions have a mass, they can be accelerated, which will produce the thrust. The Iron Thruster contains some gas, which is ionized with a gas charge, where gas atoms with a neutral charge are split into negative electrons and positive ions. After that, ions are accelerated by an electric field in a sophisticated system of grids. This same system blocks the movement of electrons. On leaving the nozzle, positive particles are neutralized by negative electrons so that the ions do not go back to the drive and do not impede its thrust. In theory, this method allows accelerating ions up to 210 km per second which is considerably higher than the speed of particles and chemical rocket jets used in all contemporary space and military rockets. Their speed reaches just 4 km per second. At the moment, existing engines of this kind lack in power and are applicable only for adjusting the orbit's trajectory. However, if future scientists are able to create a more powerful version of the Iron Thruster, it will allow spaceships to reach the surface of Mars in just 39 days, which is approximately seven times as fast as the current optimal travel time it takes to get to the Red Planet. Another possible option that may present itself for traveling to the neighboring celestial objects will probably involve nuclear rocket engines. The principle of their work will lie in a source heating up as a result of the decay of radioactive material. This approach was tested at the beginning of the space age, but so far it has been inapplicable due to two factors. Firstly, the use of these technologies would lead to harmful emissions of large amounts of radioactive waste into space. Secondly, the nuclear engine requires intensive cooling, which would be difficult to achieve in space. Only low-power nuclear engines are known to science today, with several countries already working on the development of more powerful and safer versions. For example, in 2017, NASA and BWXT Nuclear Energy signed a contract on the development of a technology of this kind, which will enable terrestrial spacecraft to reach planets like Saturn in a few months' time. Perhaps even the next generation of people will live to see the day when they can freely travel around our system and cover enormous distances between planets within a matter of a few months. However, we should remember that all the projects mentioned currently exist only in theory and their realization has equal chances of success or failure. Man will always try to break away from the limits imposed by the surroundings. Sooner or later, one of these attempts is going to be successful. It is quite possible for a breakthrough to take place even this century.
Meanwhile, what remains for us to do is to marvel at discoveries in today's physics and to hope that the history of mankind will not end on this planet. Dear friends, every new video is a lot of work and your support by electronic likes stimulates us to carry on. That's why don't forget to subscribe if you like what we're doing so that you won't miss new videos. It's only thanks to science that we'll be able to provide ourselves with a ticket to the future. Let's keep in touch.